So if you've been looking for good masculine role models, you know it can be quite a challenge. But sometimes you come across someone really good. Aragorn from Lord of the Rings is one of them. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at him and why exactly young men should strive to be more like him. I you stand, man of the West! So to understand Aragorn and why he's such a good role model, we have to take a look at his story. Because when Aragorn was just two years old, his father died. He was killed by orcs and you probably know, growing up without a father can be quite bad. Luckily, he was raised by Elrond and he learned about his true calling as a direct descendant of the King of Gondor and bearer of the broken sword. And let me tell you, that's a hell of responsibilities. Aragorn became a ranger. He seems stern and reserved at first, but when Lord of the Rings starts, more of his true nature starts to show. Throughout the movie, he's overcoming various dangers, leading his allies to multiple wins and ultimately leads them to win the final deciding war against Saruman. That is a rare gift. Now he does all of that while still keeping and living healthy masculinity. And that's what we're gonna talk about now. The true soldier fights not because he hates what is in front of him, but because he loves what is behind him. Now to start looking at the specific traits that build his healthy masculinity, we're gonna take a look at one scene that shows a lot of them. They took the little ones. Frodo. Where is Frodo? I let Frodo go. No. You fought bravely. You have kept your armor. I do not know what strength is in my blood. But I swear to you, I will not let the White City fall. Oh man, such a good scene. One of the main character traits of Aragorn is how he is so caring. Nowadays, it's often a silk fist inside an iron glove, but Aragorn is the iron fist inside a silk glove. And that's really what healthy masculinity should be like. He cries and gives him a kiss on the forehead. This clearly shows his emotions, but doesn't affect his masculinity at all. Besides that scene, you can always see Aragorn having a strong core, but he's still empathic and understanding, and he cares about other people. People. I would have gone with you to the end. He's able to show love, also in a non-erotic way, which you can see multiple times in the movie, with Legolas and Gimli, for example. We will not abandon Merry and Pippin to torment and death. Not while we have strength left. He always protects others, which is probably one of the most important and most agreed on masculine trait. Aragorn is also very helpful. He's serving, protecting, fighting, defending, leading, and even healing. And he is in a unique position because of the potential power of having the ring, as well as being the future king of Gondor. But he does not use that position selfishly. Aragorn also embodies another typical masculine trait, because he is strong. Of course, he's a fighter, a warrior, we talked about this before, but he's also brave and courageous, which is shown when he goes on missions, fights wargs, faces the army of the dead, or literal Saruman and his army. But he never rejects his mission, never gives up, and he still just goes for it, no matter who or what he's facing. And that shows his real strength. He's respectful and honorable, like basically almost all the men in Lord of the Rings. He doesn't build an ego, he always sees himself as an equal, but without denying his true calling to lead. And even at the end, when he becomes the king, he doesn't let the hobbits bow to him. You bow to no one. Now this, combined with him being very humble, makes him truly likable. He knows his limitations and he doesn't want to take the ring because he knows he shouldn't have it. Instead, he trusts others. Aragorn's also very honest. He's self-conscious, honest to himself. And he understands he's not perfect or he can't do everything, but he does his best anyways. I am Isildur Fight for me. Now on top of that, he's also faithful. He serves and he does what he needs to do. He never gives up, like I said before. And he also inspires others to do the same, which is a fantastic trait to have. For Frodo. Now 
because of that and the other traits I talked about before, this makes him an awesome leader and really someone to look up to. He inspires others to greatness and together they strive and ultimately win the war. A leader is best when people barely know he exists. When his work is done, his aim fulfilled, they will say, we did it ourselves. And that really summarizes who Aragorn was and what he did. He was the one leader for the final battle. And it's really tying up everything perfectly. And then him becoming the king at the end of the movie is really just so well deserved. And if you want to see more about masculinity and self-improvement, really feel free to subscribe because that would mean a lot to me. And then definitely watch this video about Henry Cavill too, maybe a bit more realistic to model. Thanks for watching and bye.